Toyota is finally starting to take battery electric vehicles seriously. Yes, folks, the multi-hundred billion dollar revenue company, Toyota Motor Company, is finally taking electrification seriously after having ignored it for more than a decade. This is the same company that only has one electric vehicle on the market by the name of the Toyota BZ4X, and although has been investing a lot in innovative hydrogen fuel cell technologies, has yet to make a move in the more quicker, accessible, and faster growing battery electric vehicle market. Whether there be a traditional OEM stance, indoor politics, or something to do with actual production, it seems like Toyota has had a difficult time scaling up its battery electric department. That is, until a few weeks ago. On June 13th, Toyota announced its multi-hundred billion dollar plan to scale up to 3 million electric vehicles per year by 2026. This includes 10 brand new models that will be built on completely new platforms, not those of the Toyota Mirai or the Toyota RAV4. If you ask me folks, that is a pretty big deal because although in the electric vehicle community toyota is considered to be the slowest moving company they do have the most experience out of any other automaker they've been in business for more than a hundred years now and they've been selling vehicles longer than most companies on the market today and because of that they have nailed the conjunction of quality cost and production scalability with top five of the best-selling vehicles in 2022 having been Toyotas. And to be honest, folks, that figure in and of itself is a great reason for why all this talk from Toyota around solid-state batteries and the EV race should be taken seriously, even if the company hasn't taken this race as seriously as many others. Because although, folks, Toyota is not going to win over Tesla, Lucid, Riven, or some of these other startups in terms of sales anytime soon, they have the opportunity to revolutionize the manufacturing, the supply chain, and the sustainability of electric powertrains. Toyota is the number one company when it comes to marketing globally, sales, and service. And because of that, they can have some good expertise in innovating new technologies, whether that be hydrogen fuel cells, synthetic fuels, or even electrification for heavy-duty vehicles. And whether or not that innovation gets carried over into Toyota's own products or into other startups and companies through acquisitions or buyouts, only time will tell. But the reality is that research and development, as well as innovation, will always pay off for the broader benefit of the consumer and other technologists. And it seems like right now, those innovations are starting off with solid state batteries. For those unfamiliar, solid state batteries are a new type of solid electrolyte technology that can allow your traditional battery pack to be a lot more energy dense, quicker to recharge, and much more durable. This technology is not necessarily new, it's been researched for well over two decades now, but it's been very difficult to commercialize, regulate, and produce. And that is exactly what Toyota and other automakers and startups are really trying to figure out. Because if a company can solve the solid state battery technology problem, then the opportunity for growth is basically endless. However, just like with most innovations, the question really is about if and not when. And that if is exactly what Toyota Motor Company is set out to solve. In the company's very first electric vehicle dedicated conference, Toyota's new CEO, Koji Sato, replacing Akio Toyoda, first outlined a brand new strategy from the company to commercialize new systems on its best-selling vehicles. These new systems not only include battery electric vehicles, but synthetic fuels, hydrogen, and even liquid hydrogen. And although the task to solve all these problems seems very difficult, if there is one company that can do this, it is undoubtedly Toyota. The company's chief technology officer, Hiroki Nakajima, said that Toyota is officially targeting annual production of 1.5 million battery-powered cars by 2026, adding that the company will set up a new specialized unit to focus on these new vehicles instead of the regular internal combustion engine business only remodifying existing chassis. And speaking of chassis, 
Toyota for the first time outlined a plan to build battery vehicles on a brand new next generation platform, which means more cost efficiencies, better scalability, and potentially improved performance. Because for those that haven't experienced it already, the Toyota BZ4X, which is essentially a love child between a RAV4 and a Prius, is one of the worst battery electric vehicles on the market today. Not only in terms of value, but in terms of range, recharge time, and surprisingly enough, reliability. Offerings from Chevrolet, Hyundai, and Ford throw Toyota's vehicle out of the water. Which tells us that although OEMs in the internal combustion engine space can have a difficult time selling EVs, it is not impossible and you just need to take it seriously. And one of the ways you can take it seriously is by dedicating a new platform, a new production line, and a new subunit towards this new charge. And well, a part of that new strategy is Toyota claiming that their new EVs coming out by 2026 will host range of more than 600 miles, which would be more than 50% that of the best EVs on the market today. And just like the title says, the way they're going to achieve this is apparently through solid state technology. And this, unfortunately, folks, is where some of the skepticism starts to rein in. Because there are countless examples of Toyota promising us solid state battery technology over the past decade, but not having come to fruition. Whether that be in 2017 when they promised a new battery by 2020 or even all the way back in 2014 when they promised the same thing. Whether or not this is a mishandling on Toyota's management or actual difficulties with solid state battery commercialization is a different question to ask. However, arguments can be made on both sides that right now Toyota is simply dealing with technological and strategy related issues. Solid state batteries sound great on paper, but they make very little sense right now from a production standpoint. When it comes to even demonstrating them, we have very little prototypes working on planet Earth that can even demonstrate this technology working, not to mention the fact that costs are high, scale is low, and materials for the solid electrolyte are very difficult to find. Even if you compare it to hydrogen fuel cell technology, hydrogen is simply more developed than solid state, even though there is little scale in sales in the hydrogen space. At least we have demonstrated commercially viable units of fuel cell technologies out on the road. The only issue is there's a lack of infrastructure, which is bottlenecked sales. However, solid state is further behind hydrogen on its own commercialization timeline. And although Toyota knows a thing or two on how to make successful hybrid vehicles, they have yet to demonstrate commercial scale on battery electric platforms, with 2.6 million out of 2.7 million of their electrified vehicles last year having been pure hybrids. So, what do you guys think? Will their strategy refocus towards creating a separate business unit and dedicating the production process towards this new technology pay off in the long term. As usual, folks, let me know your thoughts on the situation down in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.